Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here. It's time for more Xenonauts, episode 71. And we are going to hopefully be able to deal with anything and everything that is coming our way. We don't know if it's actually true or not, but we are going to hope. All right, we want to launch an aircraft in that general direction. I guess that's fine. Ish. Oh. We want to change and select the new target, which is over here. And we are going to engage it. And we are going to hyperactively tail it with much hatred and pain. And then once we do that, we're going to murder its soul. Soul murdering? Great, great strategy. Alright, we need to get him to move this way, and he can just kind of go in the direction. There we go. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice. Everybody's a winner. No accidentally rolling into a missile this time. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, so let's do our mission with our secondary squad of noob cakes, noob sauces, noobies, rookies. Fresh meat? I don't. I don't know. We can go on for days, guys. Literally days, but we won't. Or will we? There we go. That's a little bit better for the microphone. All right, we're gonna go there. We're gonna whip out the pistol, and we're going to move out, I guess. And we're going to do this as well. There we go. And we do not know where any... Aha! We know where one alien is. We know where one alien menace is. And it looks like we are clear that way. Alright, well, we'll send Nate Boru this way, I guess. Let him get into a position to actually do some work in the next little bit here. Uh, I guess we can put our sniper over here. That's not a terrible idea. And we'll send our walking tank type person out this way. And we will hope the cop is the better choice for murder than we are. In fact, we're going to look away. I mean, what we can't see won't hurt us, right? I mean, that's, that's a philosophy we are going to live by and hope by anyway. Alright, well we're going to run over here, we're going to take a knee, and that leaves an additional sniper, holla back at you, rocking the plasma, he's going to walk over here and he's going to be ready, he's going to be set, he's going to kill some fools, alright, and with that we'll end our turn, we'll take a shot, actually both shots will miss completely, which is sweet sweet nice, there's the alien over there, dead cop, Mind control sounding stuff or teleporting. Don't know for sure. One of those two things is probably true. Alright, well, let's move this guy up. Take a look over here. Probably take a knee. Now, he could get murdered from behind, which is very possible. And somewhat probable, but we're hoping that doesn't happen. Alright, we got a shot on him, and another one maybe? Ooh! Both shots hit. That is pretty darn nice. So somehow, our police buddy over here managed to get himself owned. And I don't really know why or how. Ah, I know why and how now. Alright, let's see. If we move here, we should be able to turn and fire. We almost killed our boy, but we didn't, so that's good, I guess. Three Cream Willy will come provide overwatch for him. I guess we'll go stand by the car. Take a knee. Scary stuff, guys. Scary stuff. Very scary stuff. Alright, we're going to move out this way. Move in. Take a look. Absolutely nothing going on. There is a door over here. I think I'm going to utilize it. And that means that finally, Lavender Gooms is ready to move up and in. And he is going to. He'll probably clear this building. Maybe with the help of a sniper. Maybe. 
maybe by himself. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Gonna end the turn and hope nothing bad happens. Looks like nothing bad happened. All right. Well, this is a smaller vessel, so the probability of there being a lot of things that can really hurt us, even with the uh, the rookie squad or the secondary squad, is pretty limited. It's it's pretty low. There's not a whole lot of chances that bad Juju Magumbo is going to indeed go down. So we do have that working toward our advantage. And that's quite the advantage, if you ask me. It's quite the advantage. It is rather advantageous. I'm assuming that's already clear, so we're just going to start sending people toward the downed UFO. The downed UFO will hopefully not cause many issues for us. I'm feeling the worst issues we will have will be... Me... Uh, he's, hmm. That's mildly annoying. Um, might be if they have grenades at this point. That should really be the only thing that's somewhat problematic. I mean, we could probably do it with no armor or with the, the tier 1 armor if we really had to. And at this point we have far beyond tier 1 armor, so... Should be good. The stream went pretty good today. It was... Um, I don't know exactly how many people I had. I would guess somewhere between 11 and 15. So it's not bad. I mean, somebody with 40 times the amount of subscribers I have only pulls in maybe 60 to like 150, I think is the most he's had. I'm not even sure if he had that many, to be honest, at any given time. He had maybe from his 40,000 subscribers, maybe 1,500 that actually came over to go on Twitch with him, so... Yeah, and junk and stuff, so there's not a huge turnover. Now, the downside to all of you guys that, you know, obviously you can't make it to the live streams, a lot of you. That's just not in the cards. I mean, I can't expect everyone to be able to show up at a specific time. I mean, and I understand that, and I realize that's why Twitch is not quite as big as YouTube. But here's the, the problem. If you guys are planning on checking out the archived videos of whatever it is I'm playing, you should do so relatively soon because apparently Twitch just changed their VOD uh, policy and there's no longer infinite saves. I guess Twitch is starting to get too large and well that or maybe they finally did get completely bought out by Google. I don't know. Either way there's no longer save forever feature and things will only last for 14 days. So if you guys want to catch a stream that you missed try to do so within a week or two of me actually Streaming, sorry, there was like a collision upstairs. Loud noises does throw me off on occasion. They do? They do throw me off on occasion? I don't know. A loud noise could? Sure, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, everyone is moving rather nicely. We've more or less cleared just about everything. And it looks like we'll be ready to assault the ship very soon. Very soon. Unless they decide to come out and play with us themselves. But it doesn't look like that is in the cards. So, I'm going to actually take a look. Oh, my word. There's a tremendously huge amount of people in there. So, let's do this. Huh. That worked better than I thought it would. Surprise. Alright, well, you know what? You're just going to take a knee. That is your plan. That is what I want from you. Ooh, I actually hit. Interesting. And we hit again. Very interesting. And the puppy says hello. Little Miss Katie, the demon dog of Alcatraz or Architraz or something. There's Trazes and things involved, so do what you will. No demon puppy. No, you must get down. Now is not the time to bother the stream. Get down. Or the uh, YouTubers. Good girl. Uh, trying to get a lot done today, guys. I have a ton of things to do and a decent chunk of time to actually do it in. Uh, cutting into that time was the stream, though, so that's always the downside. Stuff I could be doing for YouTube, uh, 
I, I lose out on the time by uh, streaming, so it's one of those darned if you do, darned if you don't things. Yeah, it's fine. It works. Oh, well, there we go. That was simple. That was easy. There we go. 65,000 uh, monies. No additional injuries. Some, some decent stagging. Everybody got at least one. It's not bad. Major Hollaback at you is now in 20 combat missions himself. We have two colonels, two majors, and... Oh, sorry, three colonels. A captain, a lieutenant, and a corporal. So, interesting squad conglomeration there. And it looks like we've managed to defeat everything else on the screen. And our sentinel armors are ready, and boom. Goodbye. And on top of that, we are now going to set this equipment as default, and we are not only going to do that, but we are going to transfer our jackal armor. Sorry, it's not our jackal armor, our buzzard armor. I'm like sitting there looking like, something's not working. There we go. And nailed it. There we go. Perfect, beautiful, wonderful. Everybody's happy now. Well, almost everybody. All right, the long-awaited next batch of recruits is going to be named right now. So, let us take a look. Let's start with um, Natalie Martinez. Let me get the master list over here. And, yes, guys, it's actually a paper list. I know. Using the dual monitors now, though, I could probably keep it on... Uh, my computer and just put the list off to the side. That would probably be smarter and easier. All right, let's see. A female, a female. Sleeptronic 420. I think we're going to throw that in there. I think that is what we're going to do. All right. Um, rename soldier. Sleeptronic 420. Some of these things I don't even remember people asking, yet I wrote them down. But it's fine. It's fine. All right, let's see. We're going to rename, rename this guy as Tony Gallagher. And that is the way he spelled it. All right, and then we have Klaus Schmidt, who is going to be renamed as... Oh, let's see. R.L. the Target. Sure, we'll go with that. Then we have this dude whose name is just ridiculous and nobody can say it. We're going to throw that guy as... Let's see here, I'm sorry, it's actually pretty dark, guys. I'm trying to read in the dark here. John Bear. Alright, and finally, Allison Wood is going to be renamed as Rike. Reek. Reike. That. That's the name. We're going to go with Rike. Like, yike. Yikes. Rike. And that's going to do it for the soldiers that we have right now. I'm going to take out the handy dandy pen. That's right, guys. You heard it right there. That was the clicky pen. And we're going to cross out all those names. And there's still at least 15 more on the list. But I don't think they're all going to make it. In fact, I don't think anyone else is going to make it into the squad. I think this is going to be enough to get us through the final... Final wave again, unless something absolutely ridiculously terrible happens. So we're going to hope that that doesn't happen. All right, research should be done really, really soon. Transport has arrived. Okay, I'm actually glad about that. Because that means that our sniper is now a buzzard sniper, followed by another buzzard sniper. And boom. There we go. Mag weaponry needs to get finished really soon because we need to start building some of that. The wraith analysis is up and running. And there we go. And this is the one where I think they spin in circles. I think that's what it was saying. So that's a pretty funny one. Make sure you pause and read that one, guys. It's pretty good. And we're going to get the mag weaponry done. We're going to force research that as quickly as humanly possible. And hopefully it gets... Okay. All right, we're going to take a look. Uh, what did... Who, where, when, why, how... Who, 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 who? All right, um... Don't want to use any more money right now. I think what I'm going to do is commence project on one of these. It's going to do trickle trickle charges on the monies on the monies. 
So that's going to be the plan here. Alright, so the UFOs are detected and running and ready to go, and they are heavily concentrated in North America the last little bit here, which is interesting. Um, we're going to go with Frog and Toad should be able to take down UFO 172. We're going to send the dual marauders to take out the UFO 173. And there's 174 as a baby, and we're going to send... We'll send Hound to deal with it. Okay, and down there we will send... Eh, we'll send all bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Actually, I think we can send bacon and tomato. Or bacon and lettuce, rather. Should be able to deal with it. And 176. Oh, dear. Intercept that with... Hmm... Ooh, it's grounded. Uh, I can't do that with that. Hmm. Alright. And what do we have now? 177, which is up there. Okay. We'll send the Marauder. And Tomato. Alright, well, we are going to tail into lower land. And we are going to engage this one. Alright. So the plan is going to be relatively simple. We're going to speed burst our way as fast as we can over here. And then we're going to turn, 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 turn. Okay. And he has turned, and we're going to get him out of the way. And then we are going to try to relocate ourselves into a much less terrible position. Hopefully, this all pans out. We are actually not doing so good here. Trying to outmaneuver him and failing massively at it. There we go. Now we're doing okay. Alright, now we gotta make sure he doesn't do anything stupid like get himself owned or murdered. Alright. It's fine. And... There we go, we are in position with him. And we're just gonna roll around and totally shoot him down and be victorious in all things. And that was sweet, sweet, nice. Wonderful, beautiful, great, and everybody happy. Um, now we're just gonna have to hope that we can actually make it. We have to engage this. We should have enough ammo to actually do this, so. If we are lucky and that is the case, we'll be fine. If we're unlucky and that's not the case, well, this is going to go very poorly for us. So what we're going to do now is roll. And re-address ourselves here. And boom! Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. I played that picture perfect, and everybody should be impressed, because I certainly am. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. We are going to airstrike this. I'm going to be doing some more airstriking every now and then, guys, so just keep that in mind if you would. Because as it stands, well, a bad Juju Magumbo seems to happen when I don't airstrike things. Um, if I have the option and it's not close because there's going to be enough stuff that I can actually go through and shoot later so I don't want to really run the risk right now alright get you guys focused where you belong down and two down and a victory victory so air combat has become a lot easier for me when I don't roll the wrong direction as we saw in previous things we're gonna tail until overland and the mag weaponry is done so feel free to read this it's a gauze gun or the coil gun also I think you could consider it a rail gun I suppose so or uh, what's the rail gun also known as um, 
Eh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I think there's one other thing it's called, but it's fine. Alright, so now we can do heavy mag weapons, and we shall. Then we're going to do the Hardin analysis, or Haradin analysis, if you will. The alien leader interrogation. And then who knows what else. I don't know. But the heavy mag is now taking priority amongst everything else. That will increase our ship's ability to do stuff. We are going to go to the workshop shop screen. And we are going to add a couple of extra things to the mix. But not there. We're going to add them over here because we're still building other stuff. So we're going to add a double carbine to the thing. And then we're going to add... I guess some pistols. There we go. And that should be fine. And then here, once, uh, oops, here, once they're done with the Sentinel battle suit, the singular one that they're working on, we're gonna have them do a rifle, not a rifle, a uh, mag rifle. There we go. Or two. We might send one. Um, and we're gonna leave it at that. I think that's fine. And then what was this? Okay, so everything's good. Everything is good to go. And what is that? I might actually send my boys to deal with that. Alright, we're just going to auto-resolve that because that's easy and we don't even need to fight it. No point. We're going to tail. And then we are going to get our squadron, engage a tailed UFO. We're engaging. It is going to be sweet, sweet, nice. And everybody's going to be happy with the turnout of this. We're going to roll to our left. Oh, apparently we need to roll more than just him to the left. He just refuses to uh, readdress the issue, doesn't he? Alright, let's cut his power down to next to nothing. And I guess we'll float away with him. And we'll actually try to get this person here. Get you behind. Attacking. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why are you going in that weird pattern? Oh, I'm going to do something stupid, I already can tell. Alright. Get back up at the full speed. Get the back of the up to the full speed. Alright, get way over here. Get away from this place. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Turn in. And there it is. Oh my goodness. That's such a hard time. I think I kept moving the map instead of moving the ship, and that was causing me a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Alright, so that's done. What was this? Okay, I know what we're going to do there. We're going to intercept that with a bump drop. And we're chasing that one down. We're going to send the bump pod over there, but not just yet. And I think... Go to last known location. We know... Select new target. We know they're this way. There. Cancel that. I don't know what's happening, but it's fine. Select new target and the UFO and there it is. We have to auto resolve this because we don't have the fuel to actually fight it. So there we go. We have auto resolved our way to victory, and we're about to launch our fellows with additional sentinel armor. So Mutanot set, Nicole Hernandez is set, I am set. That means Redith is now next on the list to be set, and she is. And that means we now have additional wolf armor laying around, which is good in case there's ever a base assault or anything like that. And yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty decent at this point. And well I think I'm going to break off the episode before we actually engage in anything else. I was thinking about doing another one, but I decided, nah. I am going to send the bump pod to intercept that one. I'm going to airstrike this one. 
and we're gonna get a little bit closer but we're gonna break off right before we actually engage so I wanna thank you guys for joining me and I will see you guys tomorrow with more Xenonauts until then my name is Bumpy McSquiggums and I will see you later